Okay, you guys, so I got a video uploading. I found the verse I was looking for, and now I'm going to read part of it to you, and I will put it in here, and I will also put it in the video that's uploading that I said I would. See, God is so good. He led me, he led me right to it. So this is about the, the comment that, that the tarot demon made. Well, is God so narrow-minded that, that uh, uh, there's only one way to get to him? And um, what I explained was that there, there is only one God. There is only one God. You see, what the tarot demon is following and what, what everybody else from the Eastern um, Hemisphere is following, they're false gods from false religions. She made the comment that, you know, uh, sacrificing your children, that sounds like it was from the other side, but these people were saying, well, well, we have to do what the prophet said, that this is what our God told them to do. The God was actually a false God. It was a demon. This is exactly what those Hindu gods are. They're false gods. And that is who she worships. They're false gods. They're demons. So here's what it says. Paul writing to all in Rome, who are loved by God and called to be his holy people. Romans 1.7. It says that his purpose is to preach the gospel, for in it the righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last, just as it is, as it is written, the righteousness will live by faith. Verse 17. He goes on to compare the righteousness, the righteous saints, with the unrighteous Gentiles upon whom the wrath of God is being revealed from heaven. He lists the works of the unrighteous who have incurred God's wrath and then, sa and then says that God gave them over to three things. God gave them over to the lusts of their hearts, to impurity, so that their bodies would be dishonored among them. Fornication. Tantric sex. That is verse 24. The second thing God gave them over to, God gave them over to degrading passions, attachments. You start, you're starting to see a pattern here? Attachments. Third thing, God gave them over to a depraved mind to do those things which are not proper. Like being a narc. Like stealing from people. Like lying. Um, crime. All the crime that we see. So you understand what in essence God has done. If you refuse to listen to God and his word. Uh, it says in the Bible you must follow the narrow path. The narrow path. And that is Jesus Christ. And that means you must transcend the attachments. All these three things that God has given us over. Why, why did God give everybody over to these things? All of these things can be found in the personhood. They're all found in the world. They're all found in the sleep. Is this starting to make sense to you guys now? This is why we have to transcend all attachments. All desires. All the lusts that we have got to transcend it and gave them over to the depraved mind to do those things which are not proper and that is adultery uh pedophilia all that stuff of the most popular english versions in use today only the new international version and new american standard bible use the phrase god gave them over most modern bible versions say god gave them up the Greek word translated gave over or gave up means surrendered, yielded up, and trusted or transmitted. In this context, it refers to the act of God completely abandoning the unrighteous. And that is exactly what I said. You see, if you don't know, if in your ignorance, you were following false gods and you were following a false religion, um, and, and you find out what God's word said and you stopped and you repented, God will forgive you. If you know God's word and you continue doing it, I have my answer now. I said in the other video, I'm not God. I don't know what God would do. Well, now I know what God would do. God will throw you to the demons and he will walk away from you just as you walked away from him. So now every single person out here that is in the mystics community and the occult, 
that has heard my videos and understand that every video I have made, I have given you the Bible verses, scriptural verses, to understand that what I was saying was the truth, to understand that I was a former follower of Hinduism, that I was loaded with demons. Right now, I think I'm up to 35 demons that have been casted out of me. And there's still these three major ones here. Do you understand? This is what I'm talking about. This is why I'm out here. This is not a joke. So I will put this in the in the in the Bible in the Bible. I'll put this in the description, and uh, I'll put it here, and I'll put it in that other video too. Like I said, I was gonna. You guys be blessed.